I think we talked to everyone. I think you're right. Let's go. The uh, fuck? Oh. Like uh, fuck? We really must have ousted everyone. Hey. The young Valkyrie stands in front of the gates of the castle, keeping guard. She raises her weapon as you approach. Halt! The castle will have no- Oh, heroes. My apologies. I didn't know it was you. Parisa, what's going on here? As I said, my apologies. The king has asked that the castle be closed off for the time being, and that entry be heavily restricted. Okay, why would he do that? I'm afraid that King Seraph simply needs some time to himself, currently, and by the will of the Aetherian Church, he must close off his palace to the public for an extended period of time. She soothes her weapon. Is there anything I can do for you, heroes? Well, we actually really kind of needed to talk to the king. You did? How unfortunate. King Seraph at this time will not be taking visitors. If there's anything else I can assist you. Yeah, well, kind of, he would be the one to know about what Echo. About, could we just at least come in and to look around? She hesitates for a moment before sighing. As the heroes of Aetheria, the groundlings that would save our kingdom, I cannot see why your entry would be denied. Certainly, I can grant you this. Behind her, the gates would open, allowing your entry. Please come in for you heroes. I will go in search of Kale and ask if it be possible for you to schedule an audience with King Seraph. Um, uh, thank you, Parisa. It is my pleasure to assist you. Remain patient and I shall find you within the castle once I have spoken to Kale and his majesty. Sure. Wow, we're fancy. We got, mm. we got privileges, bro. Got privileges. <laughs> I... Oh, this is here. Let's just go find. Okay. Yeah, I mean, say hi to her. Just need some answers. Yeah, man, this place is empty without all the maids running around. It yeah, really it is. is empty. It that is. was kind of the point. I mean, yo, Dessa. Odessa sits behind her. You desk. like what I did there? I said, "Yo, Dessa." Yeah. <laughs> okay. Odessa sits behind her desk with a troubled expression, looking through a book of some kind. There must be something in these texts. She flips through page after page in slight frustration. She's not behind her desk. Don't worry I think about it's it. Because that way we can't reach him. <laughs> um, Odessa. She quickly looks up from her book. Heroes, how did you enter the palace? Don't worry, Parisa, just let us in. Well, what's going on? I'm afraid the situation is rather complex. Despite how you've proven yourself in battle, I doubt you would completely understand the gravity of the situation in our perspective without the proper context to our angelic customs in the Aether. Can you maybe at least try to explain the best you can? She sighs. As of lately, our kingdom has been plagued. Aelin believes that perhaps we are being punished by the goddess herself. However, the reason behind such is still unknown. Yeah, okay. Well, what the hell does this have to do with Seraph throwing a little pissy fit? King Seraph believes that it would be within his in the kingdom's best interest that he closes himself off for some time in attempt to contact the goddess himself. After all, he believes that as her chosen ruler of Aetheria, it must fall upon him to reopen contact with her in order to gain answers on the current circumstances. I believe it to be a rather intelligent move, personally. But he's locking himself away. Like, closing the palace? Unfortunate, but necessary steps. We must do what we can for the greater good of the kingdom as a whole. This does not simply affect the capital, you know. The situation has become a realm-wide phenomenon that we must solve. We cannot disobey the king's orders, especially not at a time like this. Why have you come here, heroes? Did the king contact you for assistance? Nope. Not in the slightest. Well... I suppose you do have your own realm to worry about then, but 
The question remains, what brought you to Aetheria? Um, we just wanted to ask Seraph some questions, but it looks like we can't now. My deepest apologies, heroes. It seems you've come at quite an unfortunate time for such questions to his majesty. If you would like, I will keep you informed on his activities via mailed communication. But until then, I'm afraid that there is little I can do to assist you. If the king is to change his mind and see you, that is his decision, not mine. We understand. Thank you, Odessa. Thank God. Of course. Oh, and heroes, if you are chosen to stay within Aetheria, chosen? remember... If you are choosing to stay within Aetheria, remember to seek shelter at sunset. There's a new mandatory curfew within the kingdom at sunset in which everyone must return to their homes until the sun rises the next morning. Yeah, we keep hearing about that. Why a curfew? It has to do with the kingdom's current circumstances. And in that way, it is rather difficult to explain. Simply trust that you will want to seek shelter. shelter. You will not want to be out in the dark. Okay. Whatever, I guess. I don't know, that sounds kind of fun and festive. Everyone's acting weird. Yeah. Is there like anyone you know else in the palace? Maybe there's some Valkyrie standing around somewhere? Maybe, because I'm calling they wouldn't like- I don't- know. yeah, he wouldn't get rid of all of his guards. Well, he definitely even boarded up the inside of the palace. Wow. Well, well, I guess extra layers of precaution to make sure nothing gets to him. That's true. There's so many fun things to touch here. No, no touchy! Oh. Keep your ethereal hands to yourself. You went down here? Mm, there's no one in the nope. training nope. area. It's just an empty palace. Hmm. And this place is really pretty. It is pretty, I will say that. But it's so empty it's right really now. It's really weird That's that it's empty. I want to touch. I'm just checking the teleporters to see if they're active. Well, there's a Valkyrie medal up here. Oh! <gasps> they are active! Where'd, Where'd you, you go? go? I went to the containment area, but then I came back. And you no. went to the containment area, you say? Yes. Containment. Well, that's fun. Hey, you. Where? Oh. The woman sits within her cell. Her hair would be rather disheveled, and her suit would be a bit more torn and dirty than you remember it being. But overall, she would look healthy and well as she waits. The heroes of Etheria, back to visit me with them on my lonesome. I'm honored. It's been a while, Regina. She considers your words, adjusting herself to face you slightly. So then... To what do I owe the pleasure? For what purpose have the heroes of this kingdom set aside time to speak with me within my prison? We just have some questions. Hmm. Perhaps I have answers. But I shall make no promises. Um. Would you happen to know what's happening in Etheria? It's rather difficult to know anything about the present circumstances. Considering the only communication I receive within my tomb is the guard that delivers my meals, and... You? My information is rather limited, naturally. That's the only company you get? Were I to receive more, I could possibly use the information I gather to further harm the kingdom. They're acting intelligently, keeping me just within arm's reach, but not within their grasp. Quite a cautious move, but not unwarranted. You mean you would still attack the kingdom after everything? Although my previous knowledge is on the king's capabilities were limited, I still stand by my ideals. A kingdom ruled by a monarchy in which the people have no say in their own rulers is flawed and requires adjustment. And king serves very ascension to royal status has always been an indicator of such flaws. He was chosen by the Goddess. And a society dictated at the whim of a goddess is unjust, no matter how much divine power she may hold. Her choices are unintelligent and clearly based on some form of bias. 
bias that perhaps as mortals, we cannot even begin to understand, but bias nonetheless. She sighs, sitting back in her cell. <sighs> I do not expect you heroes to understand, nor do I expect you to sympathize. I need nothing from you. Good. Because we don't have much to give. She holds her stare for a moment before standing up and walking toward her bed. I'm certain that merely catching up wasn't your reason for coming down here. What's your real purpose? Do you remember Echo? Of course. She was quite the loyal soldier, and our ideals aligned in a way I didn't expect. I wanted the King dead to prove to everyone in the Aether that we did not need a god-chosen ruler to run our lives. She wanted the King dead to regain that which she lost. We were similar in many ways, and we agreed that the system of hierarchy within Etheria was incredibly counterproductive. Where we disagreed were our morals. Echo would do anything to regain that which she lost, and that included harming innocent angels who hadn't wronged her in any way. My only desire was to kill the King Seraph. No others. Well, you almost killed Kale. A crime that had it come to pass, I would not have been proud of it. Kale is a good soldier and deserving of a far better of far better than a king that takes little notice of the incredible efforts he goes to and the numerous powers he possesses. My actions against him were the desperate efforts of a woman left with little, fighting a losing battle. Look, do you know anything about who Echo really was? No, I don't. Then why did you choose her? You said you found her and recruited her. Who better to fight against a king than the ones he truly harmed? To fall is a punishment only bestowed by a ruler of Aetheria. When you fall, your entire being is cursed and your purity vanishes, rendering your rings a dark pitch black color. Your memories are lost. You're a clean slate to live out the rest of your centuries in ignorant bliss of your crimes. But you still live out those days with no family to speak of, no idea of who you are, and no idea where you came from. So envision yourself in that position, and imagine that you were approached with the notion that a single king stole your very life from you for a crime you do not even remember committing. I mean, I guess I would be pretty upset, too. I had eyes and ears within the entirety of this city. I worked within this very palace itself before I was discovered for my misdeeds. I knew how to find people who would agree with my cause. And Echo happened to be one of them. Was there anything else? No. That was all. Goodbye, Regina. Until we speak again, heroes. Uh. Hmm. So, Seraph's blocked himself off. Mm-hmm. No one's in the palace. Shit's going on at night. Goddess is silent. That explains why the kids at the lake didn't see them. No one knows. Yeah, the, who yeah, they did see her in the lake. Well, we're not leaving until we get some answers for Echo. I agree. Hmm. We have to go about this wrong. Maybe if we towed her around in the city. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you just? She just closed the door. What? What? Why, why the fuck? Wh hello? Oh. We have a title. I have to put up with getting called a hero for a reason. Why are we getting kicked out? Hey, get him. Where will we sleep? Is he seriously like, throwing that much of a fit? Hey. It's not like there's beds everywhere else in the city. Oh no, we're locked out. In houses that aren't ours. There are inns. With money we don't have? Get some. Tough. 
Hmm. I could call in a favor. With the king? No. I bet Dreamer would allow us to crash in his boat for a couple days. Uh -huh. No. Okay. I mean, if we don't have anything else, then maybe. It sounds fun. Who said you could have an opinion? I mean, I'm I mean, here. Do you have any- Cam, do you have any connections here? You've been taking flying lessons. Uh, I've been sleeping here. Shit. We could always be hobos. No. Marsh, she already is that. What? Oh, if we look at that shirt. Look how dirty it looks. We could check and see if there's any beds by the portal. Can't buy anything, then I could I could steal things. No. No. It would be very easy. Cat, no. I like we could always crash near the portal. I think there might be more beds over there, too. Maybe. We can there always make our own room. beds. There was beds in the house that we entered in. Yeah, okay, we got a couple options. We got a couple options. We got some options out here. Yeah. And if all else fails, we can rough it. We can make our own beds. Where? We, we go back the way we On came. The ground. No, not on the ground. I think like, it's not the fact that we need beds. They're saying go inside. We find a good cave. I don't know. Be dangerous. <laughs> Run cave. risks. Be a rebel. It, it's, I mean, it's a lot more fun. Let's go find a good cave. We don't even yeah, know what's going on what outside. Caves are fun. Maybe it only affects angels. Well, Cam, you might be. Marshy, no, Marshy, no. Marshy, Marshy, Marshy. But I'm fucked. Let's stay here and find out. No! Honestly, yes. I'm a not. little curious, if it actually. Happens, it happens, but... uh, I mean, if, how about we go somewhere? Face. How about we go right outside of like a little house that's empty? And then if things get oh, really it's a bad. Long way. <laughs> She's too powerful, Cam. I can't handle it. Riley. What does Cat want to do? Oh, Let's we'll see what the fuck's going on. Figure out what's life. going on if no one's going to tell us. It's not a bad idea. That's what I was. See, thinking. you brought I'm, me up Like, here for if reason. things go wrong, we'll just be right outside of the building. Forget the that cat's we can the smart into. one out of all you idiots. <laughs> Come on, keep. <clears throat> Come on, cat. It would be a good place to wait. Well, I guess I we'd be know. in like the just around. Yeah. Anything you guys want to do? Uh, Not particularly. Oh, so many things. So very many things. That aren't illegal. Um, I don't know. Is it considered Mr. illegal if I murder you because you come back? Go, go, wait, wait, guys. They fixed yeah. the bridge. What the? Damn. They fixed what? the bridge. We, well, we, just while well, we were like. <laughs> we fixed the bridge. I don't get to watch oh. you guys fall down holes anymore. What if I made holes in the bridge? Can Hello. I do that? Is that no, illegal? You can't. Hello. They moved. Hello. They moved. Altera would scrub the bridge. Hmm. With Aelin back at the church, she states that she wished to be alone. Oh. Rex, you're nosy. Oh, church. We can go. We are nosy. You're right, Cam. I'm gonna allow it this once because I want to find out what the fuck's going on. Yes. Yep. I'm ready for Rex to break down the door and be like, what are they ever living? Fuck is going on? Quickly, dodge place? the fox bolt! Ah! Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes! Dodge the fox bolt! Lily, how did you move by dodging and eat two of them back to back? Honestly, Rex, you and Gray would get along really well. Good. Would I get along with Gray? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Hello. Hey, Lynn. The priestess okay. clasps her hands together in prayer at the pure fountain of CL, with a concerned expression on her face. Oh, blessed goddess, answer my prayers. Oh, blessed goddess, commune with me, thine vessel. I pray for your answer and safe travels through the wind and celestial skies. Okay. Uh, Aelin! She jumps a bit as she glances back at you all. Oh, heroes. What a surprise. I did not expect to see you all in the Aether. Is there a reason for your visiting? Uh, Parisa said that the church told Seraph to close off the palace. What's going on exactly? Ah. I'm afraid that situation is 
rather complex heroes. I cannot entirely explain to you without going into further detail. Uh, please, we want all the details you can give us. What's what's going on? She looks between all of you before she would eventually sigh. <sighs> Follow me inside. We may speak there. All right. Okay. She sighs as you all settle inside the Church of Aetheria. She turns to look back at all of you as she would confess. Recently, the kingdom of Aetheria has been plagued with misfortune, and I'm afraid the goddess is unable to assist us in remedying, remedying the situation. Um, what do you mean? We are not certain why, but for some reason, Recently, strange and celestial creatures have been appearing in the dead of night, roaming the streets and the surface of the city. They're incredibly dangerous, but they seem to stay outside of our homes, and they only appear when the moon is overhead in the sky. That's not so bad. Yeah, you could have just told us that. Look, we'll just take care of- No, please, heroes. Listen, these creatures are far- stronger than you may believe them to be. They're incredibly strong and powerful, and I'm certain that even your talents would be useless against them. Not only that, but they appear rather indestructible at the moment, as if their forms are completely immune to our weaponry. Trust me, our Valkyries have attempted to drive them back, but to no avail. Shit. Um, okay, so when did this start? Uh, Perhaps a couple of weeks ago or so, around the same time that the goddess's words fell silent. What? The goddess Ciel. She's left us completely alone without any warning. As her priestess, I am capable of hearing her mandates in my mind, and I can relay that information to the masses easily. But I have not been able to hear anything from her lately. It is as though she completely ceased communications with us. I see. So that's why Seraph's trying to contact her on his own now. Similar to every king of Aetheria, the goddess has an attachment to Seraph as her chosen ruler. If anyone would be capable of communicating with her, I believe it would be him. But... I have yet to hear any news of success. I'm growing optimistic. If such a thing continues without a word from the goddess, panic will ensue. The people need CL to communicate with them, to tell them that everything will be all right and to believe in her. But still, not a peep. Okay, well, is there anything that we could do to help? I refuse to believe the goddess is simply banished. That wouldn't be possible. She must be alive and well elsewhere. But if she refuses to speak with us, we are without guidance or answers in these trying times. It's rather risky, but I'm afraid we have made we may have no other choice but to call upon you heroes once again to save our realm. Yeah, and what exactly are we supposed to do about this? You have seen the trials of the goddess. You have entered her realm and survived. You grew stronger with the knowledge and power she gifted you. I believe that perhaps there may be a way to not only enter her realm, but to walk in her footstep footsteps within her very domain. Okay, but how, how do we do that? There is a legend, a prophecy even, that the goddess blessed her realm by forcing strong winds to twirl through her aether. The storm is so terribly strong that the land rose from the ground, our realm rests above, and continues to float high in the skies to this day. According to this tale, dotted across these central lands, the lands which we call the Aetherian provinces, are a number of shrines and trials that she crafted for the strongest, bravest, and smartest, and truest heroes to complete. And upon completing her trials, a new trial would appear. Uh, new? Try- what? Bearing challenges from every trial before it, the goddess would create for these heroes the ultimate obstacle within her mind. 
and if anyone were to succeed and surpass her in this trial, they would gain an audience with the goddess in all her majesty, and she would proclaim the hero them the heroes of the winds. Yeah, but that just kind of sounds like a legend, though. How do you even know if it's true? All legends must come from some semblance of the truth. Besides, think of it. The trial you have already undergone was one of the four types of the trials the goddess will give to challenge heroes like you. If one trial such exists, then is it not surprising that others else exist elsewhere, yes? Okay, say it's true. How exactly did we find the other trials? Server. I believe I may have a map somewhere that you may use. A map of the provinces that is. On this map, I shall mark where the legend states Yell's trials may exist if you travel to the Ethereum provinces, to those particular locations, and complete the goddess's trials, then perhaps you may find yourselves capable of entering her very mind and speaking with her personally. We need the goddess to come back to us. We need to understand why our kingdom is being plagued with such monstrosities as these. Okay, I understand, Aelin. We'll do what we can, okay? Here, the map I spoke of. I wish you all luck, heroes, truly. I wish there was more I could do, but I am capable. Of, but all I am capable of now is prayer. Good. We'll need some praying. Hey. Hmm. Huh. Well, that sucks. Let's keep moving on. Yeah. So now what? I guess find shelter for the night at least. Mm-hmm. So we're not staying out here to see what happens? Well, it might be good to find shelter before we decide. Nope, we're staying. Oh. I okay. Well, I'm supposed to buy into some legend bullshit. I don't give a shit if the goddess goes silent. I don't give a shit whatever is happening. There are monsters. They show. Knock it off. There are monsters that show up. We kill them. We're done here. Hey, fun. So are we fighting? Rex, give me, give me, sword, give me. I don't know if I trust this cat with a sword. Okay. Well, seems pretty quiet. <sighs> Nothing's happening. This is boring. I was expecting more of a <sighs> boom, crazy chaos, but no. It's pretty I mean, if it was super normal. chaotic, yeah. they would overrun and go into people's houses, I imagine. So it can't be like too much. I don't know, maybe they just don't like the indoors. Oh, or like really true. sporty active people or something. It did not work. Let me try again. You something shut up, went wrong. Listen. listen to what? What are we listening for? There's nothing. Yeah, there is nothing. It shouldn't be that quiet. Ooh, Rex. Creepy noises. Rex. What? Rex hunting you. Does anyone hear any wind? No. I'm no. trying. Why do you care about the wind? <sighs> Kira, I swear to God. Nothing on the docks. Hmm. There's just nothing. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, what the holy fuck? Shit, holy shit, holy shit, I'm about to die. I'm already okay. about to die. Um, it's oh, dark? Yeah, it's like, Wiley's already about to die, but that's... Shit, oh, oh my, okay, no, yeah, she's got a point. What the fuck? Uh, should okay. we run? Should we run? Let's stop fucking run. How about we shoot it, yeah? Yeah, already on it. Sorry, Rex, can't shoot it. Don't have a weapon. <sighs> shit. 
Do I really want to trust her with a weapon? No. Yo, can you guys do your goddamn jobs? I'm kind of backed into a corner what here. What do you think I'm doing? Rex can't do my job. Don't have a weapon. Oh, I can't see. I can't not see. Where'd okay, it go? where'd it go? Where'd it go? I can't see a thing. Yeah. It's kind of hard to make these things out. Damn. So blurry. So blurry. I can't even tell if it's like taking out any damage. I don't think it is. <laughs> it's on fire. Looks kind of crispy. Yeah, I. Ow! Yeah, oh, jeez. There goes Marshy. Why am I at the As surface? Usual. What happened to my spawn point? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's doing nothing. Shit. Ow, 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 ow. I almost said it. It almost just killed me. Ow, 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 Come on, idiots, we're not this it's weak! Me. Hurry up and- I'm on fire. I'm just- My gonna... arrows do no damage. I'm just gonna- This thing is oh, insane, no what the shit? Oh, shit. I never yeah. fought anything this strong. Yeah, they were fucking kidding! Come on, just kill it, idiots! Why, did you just frozen. die? I can't see shit. My entire game is frozen. Did I die? Okay. Yeah, you sure shit did. No, that's not fair. I oh, that guy, that guy hits hard. That guy hits hard. I can't. Wait, I'm still alive on my screen. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. No oh, fuck. Is there any beds so that I could at least get a spawn point in? So. Shit. Oh yeah, I see. Oh yeah, guys. Run right up the door. Shit. Fuck. Okay, just gun it. Gun it. Go. Go. Just go. Man. Shit, this thing's like on my ass. Fuck. Come on! Come on! Come on. Oh, I'm good. I made it. Here. Ow, oh, it hit me through the window. Then back up. Not anyway, that was a successful moment. experiment, don't you think? That was not fun! I think it was very fun. No. Looks like the thing crawled no. away. Good. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Angry. Young man pants a bit as he closes the doors and bars them, glancing back at you. Heroes! What did you think you were doing out there? You could have gotten seriously injured against that creature. We thought we could defeat it, and what the hell was that? It's simply one of the many spirits that have been haunting our kingdom in its entirety. I've gotten letters from almost every province stating that they've been attacked by similar celestial monsters in the dead of night. I don't know why this is happening. And the goddess is nowhere to be found. You cannot take those creatures on yourselves, heroes. It's too dangerous. Yeah, well, I guess we didn't think it would be that difficult. He sighs in relief. Nevertheless, thank goodness you're all safe now. To lose heroes like you would have been a terrible twist of fate. Thanks for getting us in here, Braylon. It's no problem. You may rest here for the night. There are beds upstairs. If you require anything, simply ask and I'll do what I can to accommodate you all. It's the least I could do. Uh, well, actually, can we ask a couple questions? What can I help you with, heroes? Look, Aelin gave us this map of the provinces. Do you know anything about them? Oh my. He looks over the map as you hold it out for him to see, and his eyebrows raise. These markings... Do not tell me she wishes for you to travel to these locations yourselves! Well, Aelin wants us to find more of Ciel's trials so we can try and find Ciel herself. That simply won't do. These locations are far too distant from one another to walk on foot. You'd be traveling for days, and with creatures such as these traversing the lands of Aetheria, you would not even make it to your first destination. What else are we supposed to do then? We have to find Ciel to help you all. If you want to traverse the provinces, you're going to have to think like angels. You have to learn how to travel like we do. And well, not all of us can fly. You yourselves do not need the ability to fly. And in fact, it would not even be healthy for an angel to fly such a distance. This is indeed a map of the Aetherian provinces. But in between each of these marks are tens of hundreds of miles of aisles and empty skies. It would be practically impossible to walk that distance quickly. 
And for an angel, it would not be safe or healthy to fly that distance. You're going to need faster methods of travel than that. Okay, then what what do you suggest? What are you suggest? What do you? I said what do you? Uh-huh, a likely story. Fuck Grin off! looks out the window toward the docks. If you are in need of traveling across the provinces, you'll need a proper ship. An airship. Precisely. These ships are created to travel long distances of space in shorter periods of time. They move far faster than an angel could alone, and they were made for air travel throughout the Aetherian provinces. After all, we use airships for trade, commerce, communication, and transportation. They're quite common, and the easiest way to travel. Alright, I see. So we'll just have to try and get some angles to take us onto their ships. Onto our little adventure across Aether the Aether. Did you say angles? You, you just say angles. Angles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm certain- look, I'm kind of fuming right now. It's I'm certain good. once they hear you of your endeavors to protect the realm and contact the goddess on this mission from Aelin, they will gladly assist you. Until then, however, night has still fallen. Please, go upstairs and rest, heroes. If you intend to travel that far out, you have a long journey ahead of you. Right. Uh, thank you, Raylan. As always, it is my pleasure. If you require me at all, just let me know. Oh, but it's a situation figured out. Thank I you, mean, Rayo. yeah. That's one solution.